How's it going, everybody? Rye Brad here today, and we are back with our hut. No money spent, road to glory, the road to bread. We are on episode number five, guys, so can we get five likes on this episode? You guys have really been helping me out. I know some of you have been a bit more harsh with your criticism, but I would take it um, with every every comment. I love hearing it because it's going to help me get better. It's going to make this series better for you guys, and we got a bunch of packs to open today. A lot of adjustments to the team Maybe not as major as some of you may be expecting, but we are making some changes. Here we go, guys. But first, I will tell you, I am currently in Div 3. We do get to Diamond. I don't show you the game in this episode. Um, but we do have a chance at getting two Mega Packs, two Elite Packs, and some Hut Points. Or should I do the tradable? Or should I just do the 37 and a half thousand coins? You guys let me know what I should do because it is coming up. I will be recording live um, my rewards for you guys. So... We've got unopened packs, though, from doing our hut challenges uh, for the spotlight uh, challenges, right? We wanted to get our Debrink at up and overall, and um, we get our 11th seasonal collectible, I think it is right now, so we're on our way there. But we do get two event collectibles, which is going to allow us to get Debrink at up to an 85 overall. His card looks really good. I've started to fall more in love with him than I did at the beginning because he used to get nudged off the puck. I'm starting to adapt. I feel like I'm getting better as I play more. So hopefully the gameplay will be more entertaining for you guys. Enough of those one nothing to one games. Uh, but then we get some actual players packs uh, during our grinding from some of our challenges over the week. Um, and I'm not sure what some of these are from. They might have been from a, a challenge or two. And I think I saved the 83 overall one from something else that might have been like a weekly or a, or a milestone collectible or my, not a milestone collectible, but a milestone uh, challenge or milestone objective. Whew. All right, so we get Miller, Stone, Hamilton, and John Gibson as our 83s. Now, none of these guys are going to impact us as far as X-Factor players. We don't have anything like that for these guys. So it really just depends who do I want more. Gibson looks really good. He's got that uh, uh, superstar ability, but the problem is it's after 15 saves. This JT Miller card with 85 speed is, is, is nice with Big Rig, but he doesn't have the greatest shot. He doesn't have tremendous hands. It was between him and Dougie Hamilton in my mind. Dougie Hamilton's a 6'6 offensive defenseman. It's got 86 speed already. He's got ridiculous hands for a defenseman. In my mind, he's a right uh, offensive defenseman, but he is a two-way defenseman. I did deliberate over this. The video didn't buffer or freeze or anything. I was having a tough time figuring out who I wanted to go with here. I do end up choosing Dougie Hamilton just because I do think that now after Dougie, uh, our right side is pretty solid. I can stop prioritizing right-handed defensemen. We've got Blake, we've got Hamilton, and we have Petrangelo now. So I, I feel really happy with our left-handed defensemen. Those are some of the best um, in real life. Um, but here we go. Taking a look at our team. The first thing we're going to do is slap Dougie Hamilton into the lineup. Justin Falk for his 1.2K. Um, it, it was it was good while you were here. He was our first line right-handed defenseman for a little while. But he will be replaced. And we're going to bump Petrangelo down. So now it'll be Dougie Hamilton playing with Morgan Riley, Brian Campbell, and Rob Blake still together. And then Noah Hannafin and Alex Petrangelo for now. There will be some updates there as well. But you guys can see the lines are looking okay. We do need to start upgrading these X-Factor players, though. We've got some really good players on the team. We just need to upgrade them. And speaking of upgrade, the first thing we are going to do uh, for the upgrade is purchase the tier for uh, Debrinkat's Spotlight Collectibles. I don't foresee myself really spending the coins to get them up to tier 3 um, or getting enough hut Spotlight Collectibles to get them up any further than this. So I think this is where he stops. But 90 speed, 91 wrist shot accuracy, yeah, 40k coins or four collectibles is not worth it. Um, but Huberto would be worth it. I'm loving this Huberto card. I'm absolutely loving this Huberto card. Uh, and getting him maxed out would be amazing. 89 speed, the 88 wrist shot accuracy, the 91 puck control. He's a larger body. I, 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 I just, this Dougie Hamilton card, or Doug, not Dougie Hamilton, uh, Jonathan Huberto card is awesome. So we're going to hop on the market right now. You guys can see up top, I have 28,000 coins, which should be enough to get a, a Huberto. I looked at Pasternak too. Uh, he's he's bid for 15k. I think that's I think that would have been a good bid. Um, it just didn't feel like it at the time. And I was I was set out to do uh, Huberto first. With Pasternak, we are gonna have to upgrade him a bit more. And I believe Dougie or can I say Dougie Hamilton all episode, aren't I? Uh, Huberto is an 85, and he is. As you can see, I'm gonna go ahead flip this to a left winger because that's what he is, and he's going for about. 
the mid 20s, low 20s. There you can see it's a 22.9, 21.950. And I believe that is the one I end up going with. But it's around 30K. So it's still cheaper to do this than to buy uh, the 40,000 uh, just in the X Factor upgrade. So we are going to buy him for just under 22,000. That's going to bring us back down to around 6,500. Question is, I think we can upgrade Posternock with that 6,500. I want. I think we should, guys. I really enjoyed him with Snipe. Um, and I just want to see what he is. Um, he's looking like he's in the mid to low teens. 17,000, 15,000 I saw, I think. Um, so we could get to Posternock really quickly. We'll just need another 23,000 ish. Um, and I did want to jump back in because I, I remembered we took that Matthew Kachuk card. Um, and I've not really upgraded him because we haven't had too many coins. I've been focusing on Huberto first and foremost. Um, but uh, I am going to take a look at what it would cost to get ourselves um, Matthew Kachuk. How much does he go for? Does, does Is he expensive? Is he cheap? Can I afford him right now? There was one for 1.1 current bid. I do end up putting a bid on this. Um, spoiler alert, I don't win it. It does end up getting got for more than I could afford at the time with my coins. But it looks like he's, an, again, another mid-teens player. Um, somebody that I do want to upgrade because I feel like we can get the most out of him early. Unless you guys think I should cut my losses and just kind of move on from Kachuk. Either way... We have a new Huberdo in the collection that we can max out the Huberdo and get this absolutely beautiful card art, by the way. Absolutely beautiful. Um, and upgrade him there. He looks so good. The Calgary Flames jersey. That's got a, that might be a Photoshop. Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest, but um, because I don't know if he had played by the time EA got the card art in. But I mean, you guys can see we put applesauce on him here because applesauce is really close to actually being activated. But 89 speed, mid 80s shot, low 90s on his in his uh, puck control. We're going to try and find a way to activate applesauce here. Kendall Coin Showfield could be somebody that we look to upgrade 6,500 to get her to an 83 uh 40k or two power up collectibles get her an 85 and her base card i do end up checking it's going in like the 30k range so it's a very good card people want that speed that speed is insane uh but we put applesauce on kachuk we're super close see we could upgrade poster knock it's gonna cost 6500 coins and then we get base pasta and he's got even more after that so we could do that as well so that is an option i think the next guy i would like to upgrade is pasta and then Kachuk. And maybe by then we'll have somebody else that I can maybe not upgrade Kachuk. But we are going to purchase the next tier of Rob Blake because... Um, well, just because we got one power-up collectible and that's one of the tips you guys gave me. Sorry, somebody just told me I have a glitch in my video. I don't know if it's my video that's glitched or the game. It wouldn't surprise me if it's the game that's glitched. Um, <laughs> but we are going to use the one collectible because that's what you guys said to do is that when it's only one collectible use it don't use it for two collectibles don't use it for like three collectibles only use it when it's one collectible because then if you d look to downgrade or move on from that player um you can still get your all your collectibles back you don't lose a collectible in the void uh, but we are going to activate applesauce by applying dante fabro in uh the lineup for noah hannafin noah hannafin was good he's a big body i like him a lot but the couple games I've played with um, Fabro after I put him in the lineup here, it's been pretty good. He's obviously a third pairing defenseman. You won't see them a lot. Uh, and I also make the decision to go with Applesauce over Magician. We probably could get Magician activated as well. Uh, that would just require us to have a goaltender I think has Spark and Magician. Um, that'd be pretty nice for us. I think we could get Gladiator as well. Um, but you guys can see there really only is the option here with Dante Fabro. Uh, and there we go. We now have the five out of five for both Applesauce and Spark. And our head coach currently has Gladiator. We don't have a head coach with anything else. Um, so I, I this is a planning. This is a building episode. We got rewards, I think, tomorrow. Um, I, I'm almost positive. Um, we may want to change that up in the goaltending department. We are going to open a pack here at the end of the episode, so don't click off. But tomorrow's episode is rewards. Please let me know down in the comment section. Should I be taking tradable packs? Should I be trading untradable packs? Or should I be taking just the 37 and a half thousand coins, which would, you know, be very, very useful. And it's one of those things like that's not actually too bad to get 40 K for a player. Um, if, if, um, I can get 37 and a half thousand uh, for my weekly rivals rewards, but I'm really liking the way the team's shaping up. I did do the, the lineup switch up, you know, where you put the handedness on the inside, right? 
Um, so you guys can see that, you know, Debrink gets on the left wing and Huberto's on the right wing so they can get those one timers. That was another great comment. Uh, I do really appreciate you guys with these comments. I really love it. Like it makes me ha general, genuinely happy to see you guys helping me out uh, and, and invested in the series here. So we are going to edit our abilities. We're going to take off Kachuk's. It's tricky. I am starting to look at that Kachuk pick as a really, really bad pick. I think Larkin would have had a lot more usability at this point, and I feel a little bit bad that I took him, but... Here we go. Here is the pack. I got this for getting the wins, all the wins in uh, all five wins this week in Rivals. So we're going to get our collectible. That's number 12. I believe I should be saving up for a X Factor pack with these collectibles. But you guys let me know. Should I be spending them on something else? But here we go. This pack is actually not too bad of a pack. It's a player's pack. And we already get a yellow with Alexi Lafreniere. Um, we get another yellow with Nathan Schmidt. And we're going to get one more gold here with Jake Ottinger. And we are going to upgrade in gold because Marc-Andre Fleury has not been very excited. He's not been very good for me. I, I really not enjoyed it. But that is all the time I have for this one, guys. Ottinger is the new goalie, and we got a lot of stuff to move forward with. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see some more. And I will see you guys in the next one. This is free for all. Free for all. What we fall. This is free for all. Free for all. For what we fall.